All right, today's video is going to cover creating a table in SQL Server with an auto incrementing ID or primary key uh, for a table. So what we have here is um, I will have these scripts located on our uh, Professor Pitch GitHub so you can download them and run them as a test for yourself. That link will be in the description. Uh, so here what we're doing is we're, you know, we're invoking our database. We're gonna use prod, which is a test database on my local instance. Uh, we're gonna uh, do a typical create table statement uh, in this case, we're doing a customer. And our customer ID is what we want to increment. Each time a customer record is entered into the table, we want one column to auto increment one, two, three, four, and so on. And then, then that can be the, the key or the ID of the customer that will stay with them forever throughout the data architecture in our database, um, or at least from like a data model design. All right, and, and to do that, we have this um, command here, this identity, one and one. Um, so we're going to assign that to the customer ID. We want to make sure that this record cannot be null. Uh, it is an integer. And then here are the values that we're going to insert into the table. We are going to have customer name, product, address ID, load date. We're also going to go ahead and uh, create a clustered um, primary key on this customer ID ascending. So, and let's go ahead and run this. Uh, actually, let me see if this table already exists. Yeah, let me go ahead and delete this. Delete. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. Execute, command completed successfully, that's great. Down here, we're going to insert some test values into this table. Went ahead and prepared this uh, to save some time. So we have our typical insert into statement in, into customer. As you can see here, we're not inserting the customer ID. Uh, that's going to be auto assigned, auto filled out for us as a record is entered into the table. You can see here customer name. So we're, we're going to insert four values uh, into each row and then a customer ID will be assigned to it. So we'll go ahead and run this. Four rows affected. Now let's go take a look at the table. We're gonna refresh our table structure, customer, we'll select top 1000 into it, and bam, there you go. As you can see, we've got the four columns that we, inser that we uh, inserted into, and each for each record as it came in, customer ID was inserted. So uh, we'll, we'll just go ahead and run this again. Insert four more rows. And five, six, seven, eight. All right. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any questions or concerns or comments, leave those down below. Um, like I said, uh, this test file will be located on our GitHub page. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.